Creationist. 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 Evolutionist. Uh, ooh, Sitting well, on the fence. Yeah, absolutely. Mixed up both, like, that's, that's what debate's for, isn't it? Um, I think we're going to be an evolutionist. At the moment, on the side of evolution. I believe in evolution, but I also yeah. believe in God. I, I'm pretty much the evolutionist. I believe that there's a God behind it all. Yeah, yeah same. same. Um, I'm sure. Not sure yet. So you're an evolutionist? At heart. At heart. But, at heart. I'm an evolutionist. An event based on the old bit's main house production, which is Inherit the Wind. And today we're going to be delving into the evolution versus creationism debate. So back in Darwin's time, people didn't know about things like DNA. But now, our understanding of genetics is helping us to piece together ancient relationships between different things. And it's supporting Darwin's ideas. Paleontologists continue to find fossil evidence that's giving us clues about how species have evolved. Now, there's still plenty of questions that science may not be able to answer. I don't think you can disprove um, God through um, evolutionary science. Evolutionary science is not necessarily an atheist agenda. <coughs> it's a scientific argument, and we should be very clear to separate those two, two things out. One thing that people are often very surprised to hear is that Darwin himself did actually think of himself as an atheist. Scripture is the divine word of God as communicated to man. It is our moral compass, and in it, our origins are confirmed. Our creation by God is confirmed. The book of Genesis tells us how God created the heavens and the earth in six days, and that on the fifth and sixth days, he created all life, including man. This is the true account of our origins. Now, I'm no scientist. For what should it profit man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul? And I am no skeptic. For you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, body, and mind. Because in a sense, evolution is compatible uh, with a certain kind of view of God, especially if God is identified with nature itself. In other words, what Darwinism threatens is in fact the status of human beings as, special, as a special entity, as, as an entity created in the image and likeness of God. We think science is both fantastic and frightening. It brings both progress and problems. History tells us that empathy is the key. Walk a mile in someone else's shoes. See the world from someone else's point of view. You owe it to yourself to keep things in balance. I really enjoyed the event. To think that in the 21st century, we still are having discussions. We're still talking about this. Well, it's always good to have open discussions so we um, are more tolerant and so we know more about other people's views and it just helps society, you know, community cohesion. I thought it was incredible, yes. Yeah. I thought it was very, very thought-provoking. We thought it was really good. I really enjoyed it, yeah. It's been a really, really good, stimulating experience. It kind of showed a lot of different views in between. I, a lot of those views were really interesting to hear about and, and it illuminated me in that sense.